Hello everybody, welcome to Salesforce Break. Today I'm going to show you how to expose a Salesforce flow to external users using a Visual Force page and sites. Um, there are several ways you can do this. It's possible to do this also on communities. Uh, I have another video on that topic. Now today I'm going to share you how to do this on a Visual Force page. And I'll be working on a summer 20 preview instance uh, so that I can show you all the settings that need to be done uh, when secure guest user is activated as you know there are some changes with summer 20 that are coming uh, related to security that we need to uh, make sure we are aware of and you know we do the settings uh, accordingly now I have a Salesforce uh, flow here that I have set up. I'm going to reuse the same flow that I used for the other video on communities. I set up a buy ticket in summer 20 uh, flow. It's a very simple flow. There are several versions of it. This version that I have active right now is running on default mode. This is what we're gonna use It's a simple flow that is displaying a screen and asking the user to enter a 10 digit phone number for the mobile phone. It gets the contact that matches that mobile phone number and it creates a ticket. The ticket is a custom object that I've created, which only has a couple of fields uh, and it has a lookup field to the contact and it's going to display a success message uh, similar to this one right here displaying the record id the contact name and the flow current date and time now let's test this one and see how it works i'm going to enter 555555555 as the phone number i have a contact on the instance for lauren boyle that has that mobile phone number. Now we have created uh, a ticket record with the ID sequence ending with capital I, A, and B. Let's check that's the case. Let's go to all tickets view and T26 is the contact uh, ticket record that we have created uh, with the record ID sequence ending with IAB. So it worked. Now our contact is Lauren Boyle that we are working with. And you see we have a, a number of tickets that I have created here for testing purposes. And please also remember that this contact belongs to an account named United Oil and Gas Corporation. This is going to be important in our demo. Now, to be able to expose this uh, flow to external users, what we need to do is we need to go to our um, setup. Let me just close this one right here quick. and go to visual force pages screen or setup and as you can see here there are a number of visual force pages uh, but there is one that i have created called buy ticket vp if i go to edit mode I'm going to see that it's a super simple visual force page. It has a pretty standard header and, and so on. But the, the important piece right here is right this line. It's actually calling a flow by the name of buy ticket in summer 20, which is my flow that I have just shown you. 
So I'll share this code with you in the comments. You can reuse it. Just make sure that you replace this part right here with your own flow name. Now there are not too many options or checkboxes here, but I activated also available for lightning experience on this Visual Force page. So we can preview this using this button and then we see that the flow runs on the Visual Force page. Now to be able to open access to external user to allow them to run this flow, uh, I go to my sites. Obviously you have to have my domains activated. There are a couple of simple steps that you can take to make sure that that's the case. Uh, I have here two external sites and one is the community. That's the one from the other video. And I have the visual force page right here. I called it Bytex. Um, I'm going to go into edit mode. This is the same screen you'll see when you create a brand new site. Uh, you need to name it, uh, the contact autofills with your name, with your user, and you need to pick a URL. So I chose to append the URL with Bytex. And this is going to show up empty, right? So here you need to tell the site set settings which page to pull up. And the home page is going to be your visual force page. You go into search, you look for by in the name, and then this is the page I want the site to run. And I left pretty much everything else standard and saved this one. Now, another very important setting that you need to check here is the public access settings. This is going to tell Salesforce uh, what access the guest user is going to have. You see here, this is for Bytex guest user profile. You can go into edit mode. What I have done here, I need to make sure that run flows is activated. This is very important. I have given read access to accounts and contacts. And because I'm creating the custom object record ticket, I gave read and create access to the guest user. Save this one. Well, there's one more step that needs to be taken as well. Um, let me just uh, open another setup dialog here. Uh, this one is going to be for sharing settings. So we are in, we are right now working on a summer 20 preview instance. The external sharing model is activated. You can see that the account default internal access is public read write and default external address uh, access is also public read write in my case. And you see that the secure guest user record access is activated. Now, in this case, what you want to make sure is that you set up sharing rule for the contact uh, so that the guest user on the Visual Force page and site can access this account and the contact. Now, because here the contact access is controlled by parent, I need to set up the sharing rule for the account. And this is how I do that. Let's call this account sharing. And then I need to choose, select your rule type uh, here as guest user access based on criteria. And I'm going to choose account name. Let's double check this one. The account name had United 
in it. So I'm going to say if the account name contains United, then go ahead and share this one with, and this is important, who do I share this one with? Uh, not the community guest user, it's going to be the visual force guest user and the only access I can share is read only, which is fine in my case. Say okay. Now the sharing settings are going to be recalculated and I'm going to receive an email, which I've done and I received the email already. Uh, this should be already done right now. Now, as soon as I do this, I can go back and check whether um, the Visual Force page can access this contact. 555-555-5555. As you can see now, this uh, new uh, ticket record has been created. And let me just go back to my ticket and check whether that's the case. Ticket number 27. And as you can see, it's the same record ID sequence right here. And the time is 7.48 Pacific time zone. And which I can see well, the time zone for some reason on the Visual Force page is different, which is fine. That's not an issue right now for us. So we have verified that the contact has been created and our setup is done. So we can continue using this site for external users. We can actually uh, include this on a website, give direct link, uh, and uh, have external users create tickets using this flow. Now, Salesforce actually doesn't recommend that we give a lot of access to external users with sharing settings. And there's another way uh, we can do this. Now, let's go ahead and delete this sharing setting right here. So now we stop sharing accounts uh, with external users there is absolutely no sharing settings for accounts and contacts sharing rules so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to uh, let me close this one i'm going to go to my flows and i'm going to use the brand new functionality that came with summer 20 that allows me to run a flow at the system level without sharing which means my flow is going to run at the system level ignoring all the sharing rules and provide access at the system level now this is adjusted right here you need to choose system context without sharing so, and you can see right here that this flow is running as system. Let's go ahead and activate this flow. It's right here. System without sharing, activate it. So if I go back to my site and go ahead and click on the link, for my visual force page and site and enter the mobile phone 555-555-5555 and voila now we have another ticket created and please note the ending sequence of the record ID let's go back to my tickets view for Lauren Boyle tickets related list and we have a uh, ticket 28 uh, and the record ID sequence is right here and it is the same um, 
Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy.